What's up my friends? I built new Mini Owl last week and I just wanted to share my experience and I really enjoy flying it around. I built it actually for Quadcopter 101, he wanted to check it out and uh, I didn't have much time so it took me a long time to actually build it but now it's ready and I'm uh, happy with the results, I tuned it for 3S and uh, let's look at it closer. So I've got here a Mini Owl uh, which has uh, HEN DX02 AO camera which I mounted on this mount and I added arc here to protect the antenna. I hope you will like this uh, approach of protecting antenna. In theory you see when it falls it shouldn't really touch antenna. Also it, when you have here battery it adds extra protection for it so I think it should work really well. I've connected it to OSD which as you can see there is a wire here and then there is wire inside and then it goes to Pico Core version 3 uh, which is a 3 mini flight controller with uh, OSD and uh, 10 amp speed controller. I added buzzer as well, you see it's just directly connected and nothing touches it so there is plenty of clearance for it and then it does have fly sky receiver mounted at the back I opted to mount it at the back because I thought it will be much easier access to the bind button which is just here under the heat shrink and antenna goes nicely here and simply cannot be cut because no matter what you do it will always stay kind of at the back as well as XT30 connector. So I use a DYS 1104-6500 kV motors which I soft mounted this time because somehow I had hot motors and then when I was dealing with it I was able to get rid of this heat and get them nice and cool and warm when you fly harder. It took me to change a bit of uh, filters I th and then I also soft mounted these motors and I think it all together solved the problem. Now I don't have a problem to fly it on 3S and it even flies much longer because I pretty much disabled most of the filters in beta flight. Here is my test of Mini Owl on 3S battery where I was trying to check if it's precise enough and if I can control it well enough. So check it out, let me know what you think. Then I switched it to 2S battery and I was trying to shoot the gaps between these trees you can see around me and it seemed like it worked pretty nicely, hope you will like it.
so guys let me know what you think subscribe to my channel and leave a comment and hit a thumbs up see ya